Good night stories for Rebel Girls. Hey Rebels, this is Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls, the interview. I'm Luna. Right now, I'm talking to Maya Rose Craig, the narrator for our story about Rachel Carson. Go check it out if you haven't already. Hi Maya, thanks for being here. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, hi. My name is Maya Rose Craig. I'm a 20-year-old climate change and environmental activist and campaigner from the UK. And I've been involved in doing all this stuff since I was 11, so I've been doing it for quite a long time. That's amazing. Can you tell us more about your work and how you get kids excited about nature? Yeah, one of my projects that I've been running since I was about 13 is called Black to Nature and it's all about getting kids who don't have that opportunity like I did growing up and like Rachel did to spend time outdoors and in the countryside falling in love with nature and so we do lots of camps and things like that and bring them out into nature and do loads of really fun outdoorsy activities with them and there are lots of different reasons why I do that project but one of them is genuinely because I feel like more people will care about the planet and saving the planet and our future if they are able to fall in love with nature and the outdoors. So it feels like we're kind of doing our bit for the environmental crisis. So cool. How do you stay positive in a world that doesn't always care for the environment? I think especially the state that the environment and the planet is at the moment is really scary and I think it's very easy to feel like nothing can be done or you can't make a difference. I think especially if you're a young girl because you often get taught your opinion doesn't matter and I think you know everyone's voice does count and it does make a difference and getting involved in trying to make this world a better place does have an impact whether that is you know, attending local protests or school strikes or something like that, or, you know, campaigning within your school or just talking to your parents about it or your grandparents or other family members about why this is so important and why they should care. It does make a difference. All of it does. And I think also doing stuff makes you feel better about the future as well, because you remember that other people are also out there doing stuff at the same time and collectively it does make a big difference. So true. Who did you look up to when you were a kid? I think when I was growing up, like when I was really young, I mean, I didn't really have anyone famous who I looked up to, not because I didn't want to, but because there kind of wasn't anyone within environmentalism. I thought Jane Goodall was very, very cool. She'd gone and studied chimpanzees. But, you know, for the most part, there kind of wasn't anyone. And my role model for a very long time was my mum, because she is very passionate and very strong and has never let people tell her to be quiet. And so I think that's the best kind of role model you can have, to be able to see yourself in someone else and go like, yeah, I could do that one day, or that's the kind of thing I want to do. Or like, if she can make a difference, then I can make a difference. What would you say to your eight-year-old self? I think when I was eight years old, I quite often got told off for... I think I was called bossy at the time, but for having too many opinions, basically, and for being too loud and too strong about them. And I was always told to be a bit quieter and a bit nicer. So I think it'd be nice to go back to my eight-year-old self and say, actually, no, your opinions do matter and you can make a difference. And in fact... You should be proud of the fact that you care so much about like everything and have so much to say and I think little girls get spend a lot of time being told that they should be a bit quieter and so I want to say you know ignore anyone who says that because they're stupid yeah (laughs) that that would be my advice to myself as a kid I think like growing up as a girl it takes so much courage to speak up and speak out and be proud of the fact that you have things to say and to realise that the things you have to say are as good as the things that anyone else has to say as well. Ooh, yes. I totally agree. Thank you so much, Maya. Yeah, no, thank you so much for having me. This has been really great fun. And thank you out there for listening. Until next time, keep asking questions and stay rebel. Rebel.